Hello and welcome to the microwave engineering lecture titled Transmission Matrices and Cascading Multiple Networks. In this lecture, we will look at the transmission or ABCD matrix. We will also learn how to cascade multiple networks and we will finish with an analysis of a large circuit. In previous lectures, we have used the Z, Y, and S parameters to characterize microwave circuits. However, in practice, many microwave networks consist of a cascade connection of many two-port networks. This is where the ABCD matrix is more convenient. The ABCD matrix, or transmission matrix, relates the total voltage and current at the first port to the total voltage and current at the second port. This matrix is used only for two-port networks and makes cascading matrices very easy. As we will see later, it is only a multiplication of matrices. Here is a pair of equations that contain the ABCD parameters, where V1 equals to AV2 plus BI2, I1 equals to CV2 plus DI2. We can arrange this in matrix form as follows. And this is a schematic representation of the ABCD matrix. Now we will take a look at the ABCD parameters. The first parameter is A, which is equal to V1 over V2 when I2 equals 0, which means that this is the open circuit voltage ratio. The parameter B equals to V1 over I2 when V2 equals 0 which means that this is the short circuit transfer impedance. The third element is C, which is the open circuit transfer impedance defined by I1 over V2 when I2 equals zero. And finally, the parameter D, which is the short circuit current ratio, which is equal to I1 over I2 when V2 equals zero. The reciprocal and lossless properties of other matrices also applied to transmission matrices. A transmission matrix is reciprocal if its determinant is equal to 1. An ABCD network is lossless if two things occur. The first one is that its diagonal elements are purely real, and the second one is that its off-diagonal elements are purely imaginary. Now we will learn how to combine two ABCD matrices. We are given this ABCD matrices of two networks, and we want to combine them in this form as a series connection of transmission matrix one and transmission matrix two. Now we can combine these matrices by substituting and doing simple matrix multiplication. Here are the combined two ABCD matrices when we multiply, we get a new ABCD matrix where each of the elements are shown here. This is just simple matrix multiplication. Also note that matrix A times matrix B is not equal to matrix B times matrix A. Here are some ABCD parameters of common networks. These are more examples of ABCD parameters of other networks. Now we will analyze a large circuit. Suppose that we have a voltage divider, but now it is large relative to the wavelength. We assume a 50 ohm transmission line impedance. What is the ABCD matrix? This is a picture of the two-port network, which we have a resistor here, which is separated by a length of transmission line of lambda over four, and here we have the second resistor. This is port one, and this is port two. To obtain the parameters, we can think of this circuit as a combination of three series circuits. So we're gonna split this circuit into three parts. This is the first one, which contains R1. 
the second one which contains the transmission line with length lambda over 4, and finally the third element which contains R2. We can look back at the common values for these networks to obtain the ABCD parameters. For this network, we have that A equals 1, B equals R1, C equals 0, and D equals 1. These are the parameters for the other two networks. Now to obtain the parameters, we can combine the three matrices by doing simple matrix multiplication. So this is going to be equal to the matrix of the network with R1, the matrix times the matrix of the transmission line times the matrix of the network with R2. Combining these three gives us this matrix. This is the ABCD matrix of the large circuit. Now take notice and compare to an ideal voltage divider, which is given by this matrix. As you can see, the size of the circuit can make a huge difference for simple networks such as a voltage divider. To truly grasp how much it affects the voltage divider ideal behavior, assume we have a 10 volt amplitude input signal and R1 equals R2 equals 1 kilo ohms. What will be the output voltage if the source, load and transmission lines are all 50 ohms? This is the ABCD matrix that we derived for the previous circuit. We can convert these parameters into scattering parameters by these formulas. Once we do all the calculations, we obtain these S parameters. Now, if we square the magnitude of S21 and we get a coefficient of 0.0082, which is very, very small. Now V2 will be equal to S21 V1 and we will have this expression in terms of V1. Now this is a very small value compared to a value of 0.5 for an ordinary voltage divider. Again, reinforcing the idea that the size of the circuit makes a big difference in the performance.